Hey everyone, this is Magic Pill Monday, where we do science-based supplement reviews to see if a supplement is a good investment or a waste of money. And today we're talking about boron. And boron is a mineral just like magnesium or selenium or zinc is a mineral. But it's one of those minerals that is barely talked about, but it actually has a lot of interesting potential benefits to our health. So let's talk about it. So where can we find boron actually? Well, boron is already in our food in small amounts. For example, in avocado, apple, raisins, or prune juice. However, the science has shown that for maximum benefits from boron, you have to get about three to 10 milligrams a day. But the average intake is only 0.87 to 1.35 milligrams a day. So in order to get those benefits from boron, we have to rely on supplementation or we have to really start eating lots of apples, raisins and avocados. But for most people, it's probably more practical to supplement. Now boron has a number of unique benefits that make it potentially interesting to supplement. So let's look at those benefits. The number one benefit we're talking about is that it potentially has the ability to raise free testosterone. Now, when we talk about testosterone, we distinguish between total testosterone and free testosterone. And actually the free testosterone is the testosterone that has the positive effects that are associated with testosterone. That is mostly free testosterone. So there are lots of supplements that can potentially increase total testosterone, but there are actually few supplements that have been shown to be able to influence free testosterone. Now, boron is maybe one of the only supplements that has been shown in science to be able to do this. And there is one study that shows that it can increase free testosterone by about 28%, even though the total testosterone did not significantly change. So that's an interesting result. And because it's one of the only supplements out there that might be able to do this, it is an interesting choice. Now, it's worth noting that this research that shows an increase in free testosterone has some limitations, namely it only used eight participants, so a very low number of participants, and the study only lasted seven days. So it's a relatively low quality study that hasn't been reproduced. However, still it is a very interesting result. It might be that boron is the only supplement out there that can raise free and therefore active testosterone and that is an interesting benefit. Now another study, which was done in, on women, showed that it was also able to increase total testosterone. But again, there are some limitations there. The number of participants was rather small again, it was only 12 participants. And here we're looking at postmenopausal women, so elderly women, typically above the age of around 50. So, it's not sure if this increase in testosterone would also happen in healthy males, but there seems to be some mechanism that boron can impact our testosterone levels. Now, some people that have already researched boron sometimes ask the question, doesn't boron raise estrogen? Because indeed, yes, there is one study that showed that when taking boron, males also saw an increase in estrogen. And typically, men don't want estrogen to be too high. When we look at the research, we see actually two studies that have some results on estrogen. One shows an increase in estrogen, and the other shows a significant decrease in estrogen. Now, what we do see is that there seems to be some sort of balancing effect. So when estrogen is very low, under 20, then there's an increase when taking boron. When, when estrogen levels are relatively high, 
there's going to be a decrease in estrogen when you take boron. And actually, many men prefer to be around that 20 to 25 picogram per milliliter level of estrogen. So, of course, the data is limited, but it does seem that boron doesn't raise estrogen, but rather has a sort of balancing effect on estrogen. Now, the second benefit we're talking about is that it seems that boron has an extremely strong anti-inflammatory effect. Multiple studies have looked at boron supplementation and the effect on inflammatory markers. And I've just put a few on the screen here that are most common to look at, such as C-reactive protein. We have interleukin-6, this IL-6. We have tumor necrosis factor alpha. And all of these are commonly used inflammatory markers which are linked to several serious diseases such as heart disease, autoimmune disease and cancer and all kinds of diseases that have an inflammatory component to them. Boron supplementation has been shown in multiple studies to realize significant reductions in all of those inflammatory markers. So that is also a great benefit of boron. It seems to be a very good for our general health preventing chronic disease. Number three benefit is that it seems to enhance other nutrients and therefore improve bone health. So when we look at the studies, we see that boron can influence the absorption and activity and secretion of several vitamins and minerals. For example, for magnesium, it seems that they can increase absorption and reduce secretion. And what I mean by secretion is as soon as people were taking boron, they would pee out less of this mineral. So more of the mineral would stay in their body. And as a result, these people have higher levels of magnesium. And the same was true for calcium. So people that were taking boron, they had lower levels of calcium in their pee and more calcium were staying in their body. And other studies showed that boron can increase the activity of vitamin D. So we have vitamin D in our body in several forms and there is also an active form. So the form that is actually doing the good work in our body and taking boron can increase the activity of this vitamin D. Now, vitamin D, calcium and magnesium are all essential for bone health. So it is logical that we also see in studies that boron supplementation can improve bone health in several ways. And magnesium, calcium and vitamin D play an important role in that. So overall, Boron seems to be great for bone health and just simply increasing the level of these vitamins and minerals in our body. Now, the final benefit we're talking about is that boron is capable of reducing pain, according to two interesting studies. The first study looked at people with knee pain and the second study looked at a completely different sort of pain which is pain rela related to the period of women. And both studies showed a significant decrease in reported pain levels. And it's also, also worth noting that these are both randomized controlled trials, which is the highest quality of scientific studies out there. So these are very interesting results. We see that two different areas where people have pain and supplementing boron could significantly reduce that pain. Are there any risks and downsides? Well, the only thing we can say is that research is fairly limited. The studies that we saw, uh, especially on the hormone part of boron, are just not of high quality and some of them have not been reproduced. So we are not 
fairly certain about these outcomes. It seems that it has a positive outcomes, but we're not super sure yet. I think more research is necessary to confirm these outcomes. Now, another possible risk is that boron can actually be deadly if you take it in a too high of an amount. But in order to do that, you would have to take at least thousand times the recommended dose. So typically we say take about 10, maybe maximum 20 milligrams. But if you would take thousand times that, so 15 to 20 grams, it could be deadly. Aside from that, there's really no known risk of boron. It seems to be a very, very safe supplement that people take without experiencing any side effects. Now, when it comes to the dosage, studies typically use somewhere between three to 10 milligrams a day. So anything like that seems to be effective. Now, it's typically recommended to not exceed 20 milligrams a day. I don't know what happens if you do exceed that, but I would just want to say that I don't think you should take more than 10 or ever take more than 20 milligrams a day because there's no scientific proof that that would give you any extra benefits. So there's no reason to exceed that amount. Now, when it comes to the form, there are several forms on the market, but boron citrate, glycinate, aspartate, are all valid forms to take. Now, what about the borax? So some people have asked me in the past, can I take borax as a source of boron? So borax is mainly used as a detergent actually. And it is this molecule on the screen here that also contains boron. Now, actually, some of the scientific studies I used in this um, in this presentation, they use borax in that study. So it seems that at the dosages that we typically take boron, that borax seems to be safe to take. However, borax is a detergent and you can also just buy boron supplements for very cheap prices in a regular supplement store and you will get a form like boron citrate. I personally don't see any reason why you, did, why you would not just buy a real boron supplement. It is not expensive. Here we see 240 servings for $22. So literally like three quarters of a year for $22 and you have a daily boron supplement. So personally, I wouldn't go for borax, but it does seem that at least at the dosages that I mentioned at the previous slide, borax could be a safe way to take boron. Now from personal experience, I have taken boron before and I only felt a very mild effect from it. What I mostly felt from it is an increased capacity for recovery that might have to do with its anti-inflammatory effects, maybe with the pain reduction and maybe with the increased uh, hormonal activity. Uh, but this was very mild effect. I did not notice it very much, but I do feel it had a positive effect on my day-to-day -day life. Now I think it's good for workout recovery or athleticism. And I also think boron could be a great longevity supplement just because it's great for that anti-inflammatory part. And those inflammatory markers play such a pivotal role, a key role in chronic diseases like Alzheimer's or cancer. So keeping those low for a long time can possibly increase your longevity. Now, another thing that is worth saying about boron is just like I showed you on the previous slide, it is a very cheap supplement. It might be one of the cheapest supplements out there. So I think 
for that reason, it's also a great supplement. It's very easy to add to your stack. It has almost no, basically no downsides to take it and possibly lots of benefits and it doesn't cost you much. So I like boron because of that as well. Final verdict, I would give boron eight out of 10. It has some impressive potential benefits. Uh, the free testosterone increase, for example, is a very unique benefit. I think Bora might be the only supplement that is able to increase free testosterone according to research. It is very cheap and that really puts it on the map as a great supplement, I think. The only thing that is lacking, why I would give it an 8 out of 10 and not higher, it's just because the research again on things like boron is just a little bit of mediocre quality. Lots of research is not reproduced or it's from a sketchy source or it's just a, a low quality research method that they used. So I think that could definitely improve to put boron in a better position, give it a higher grade on my skill. But for now, I think it's already a very great supplement to consider. All right, so that was it for boron. If you like this video, leave a like. Have you ever tried boron? Have you ever experienced any benefits from it? Please share in the comments below. Subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.